Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in legendary Iron Man land with a double enemy squad size, yellow alert, uh, a better advent, hundreds of really really nasty enemy monsters and just generally an environment that is unpleasant. It's time for Operation Star Witch, an extremely powerful and dangerous alien is guarding this location and my problem is I neither have the Frost Grenade nor do I have uh, the uh, the Bolt Caster. Both of them would take a few more days and unfortunately we just yeah, didn't have them. Uh, so the Viper King, who inevitably will be here, will actually be a problem. In order to circumvent that problem, I brought two gunners, not only one, but two gunners with me. We do have um, two different damage over time uh, our ammunitions, which hopefully will cause a lot of issues uh, because every time the ruler gets a turn, they will effectively tick for two points of damage. We got some melee madness with hogbite uh, going for us and yeah i a couple of grenades but they are really not uh, nothing to write home about this time we got our spider suit and the idea is we need to win this mission in order to stop the timer and i would love to win it so decisively so that we're not losing a lot of soldiers and can go to the supply rate afterwards. So let's see if that is going to be possible. Um, the supply rate really came at the worst possible time. I was trying to cancel it, but it was just too late. Good, time to land. This is a non-timed mission. So we are having the advantage of really going slow. Not sure what the viper king is going to look like i think they had been upgraded as well and one of my regrets is he will now show up on the follow-up missions and since we do have a mod that lets uh, the rulers regenerate he will always show up with full armor and we will need to fight even longer every single time so there will be quite a, a while of us just trying to to get rid of the ruler really just trying to get rid of the ruler I'll take the high road. Dilly G scouts a bit I believe this here is the best position bio faceless are you kidding me advanced bio trooper well that's two troopers so that is two troopers that is two troopers we need three more trooper corpses so let's not blow them up we'll do time to motor copy that like it and oiler also moves up here okay so far so good I think a grenade would unfortunately still make sense. I mean, they have a lot of hit points. Holy, holy moly. All right, Euler. That is a huge pack. Headed there now. 
just HP wise. It's going to be a bit complicated. So say we can only hit the face this one. Hmm. I mean, we could use flashbang and then effectively prevent them from running into cover and hurting us. I think that's a good start. If we are doing that, let's have one overwatch here with Russ. Cannon or Euler will still stay because he should be the one who who's actually picking them up with death from above. So now nah, we need that for cover removal. I think we're good. Um, let's try that. I like the idea. It's a bit of an unorthodox method to actually trigger and pull them We're in their sights. all right i think teamwork is needed I want to take as little damage at the beginning as possible. This is for you. This here should be setting them up for kills. I wish we had a little bit stronger grenade, but okay. Um. Okay. You're kidding me, right? No, that is not real. Let's so we got those three over here. Okay, cool, good. Where is... Ah, uh, that's where the stairs are at. Hmm. Not good. Gotta deal with that those guys unfortunately can't kill them all We need to deal with the lost parrying. 
Getting this guy. Death from above triggers again. Both hit points. What's the pistol doing? We're looking at four to five. That's eight. What is his gun doing? Six to eight, and, and they are—they seem to be immune to crit. Okay, well, I do have an option of how we're dealing with this, but we're almost blowing all of our cooldowns here. Not a big fan of it. Eight points of damage, that's good. Teamwork over. Good, another death from above. And this here should slow him down. And I'm just going to overwatch because the, uh, the fire will kill him. Now, that bio lost, uh, bio giant, bio faceless one, he can still move up and... That should deal some damage. No, he's regenerating quite a bit. But yeah, we're at least parrying. Okay, cool. Okay, well... That was not only five, but, but essentially these guys re-healed once, once we attack them. Nasty ability that, they, that the faceless ones are pretending to be normal troopers. So those were 36, 40 hit points, 50, 60. 60 hit point pack. Reloading. Um... Obi's got to be careful here as well. I guess that'll be okay. Slicinator moves forward, so we have the high ground. Overwatch. Long watch. Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. Okay. That extra large magazine has paid dividends. More faceless ones. Negative damage. Very nice. Moving over. Okay, I'll go. Let's just reduce the cover here. The textures are great.
Okay, apparently there are no normal troopers. I am hoping that these troopers here... Uh, that these bio things are actually counting as troopers. There you go. Good death from above. Oiler continues to lay waste with death from above. Okay, I'll go. Bobby slightly moves up. And straight up kills that guy. Okay, we're going for a nice little cover, reload, and that was pack number two. I believe this will be gamma. 75 hit points. Did he have, always have 75 hit points? Did he always have 75 hit points or not? All right, Roby gets the aid protocol. We're still out of line of sight from the snake, which means the back line will completely overwatch. Slicinator moves closer. Uh, the ones that are closer to him will get the first shots. And I want to shred him as soon as uh, possible. Could ru bum rush in. Not sure if that's the best idea. I think we might want to start with uh, incinerating it. Yeah, this will mark him so that it's easier to hit. Five binding. Oh my gosh, that is harsh. That will not trigger a reaction. And this should force it to move away. It will completely regenerate. We had no action left over. We had no action left over.
quite intense. And Slicinator got bound down to one hit point. Alright, well, I mean, slowly but surely we will need to start move uh, closer to that facility. Good, let's just hunker down for now. Reload. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. And reload. Yeah. That was a nasty little fight against uh, the ruler. I would love to take high ground again. Got it covered. Step it off. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, let's stabilize Slicinator. Still not seeing the tower. Okay, so. What? Deflected? Admin forces sighted. Admin shock trooper? Bio soul trooper? At least we know where they are. Oh boy. Adjusting aim. It's just getting better and better. Uh, he he does have overwatch none of these positions would be better So first shot apparently is being deflected. Good. 
Good, no tower in any of these fields. Okay, not 100% sure how the deflection is being calculated. It seems a bit random. But this here should make us a no target we are regaining concealment there's still one trooper over there okay we Got to withdraw a little bit. So we're down to five hit points here. Good, we can soon determine what we want to do. That heavy turret definitely remains to be a problem. We could get Slicinator back in, that solve uh, the problem here. I think we need more firepower on the field. Cover is, e cover is a problem. Go cover here. Good position overall. Unfortunately, we could neither take the cover away, nor really anything else. Euler takes high ground again. Overwatches. We could hide here. Oh. 
They don't know where Hogbite is. It's full cover. That is unfortunately zero cover. But luckily we do have 50 dodge. Unfortunately, not a hit, although we were flanking. Okay, we're slowly but surely advancing. Could go to full cover again. On the move. Russ moves over. Salicinator here with an aid protocol. He's going to be our front line. Again, full cover. We're in half cover. So that's not the best place to start with. Two more rounds. Could stay in half cover here. That is not the worst spot. I think that's the right place to go. Full cover. And decently close, we can make our way towards uh, the veteran next turn. The tower is preventing any like further movements really. Luckily Hogbite is behind non-destructible cover. Full cover that is. Alright, so that's good. And he has a lot of dodge on top of it. There we go, that's the problem. Okay, cool. Well, Hogbite's still st uh, staying strong.
I think we're going for that veteran. Oh, minimum damage, not good. Roby moves up. trigger an overwatch shot up there alternatively we can hide here slowly but surely moving further away Should not trigger any shot from the tower because we've just made that route beforehand. Got it covered. All right, triple over uh, double overwatch here. Nice, come on, one more hit. Okay, we're trying to kite them as, as well as we can. Alright, that's a kill. Death from above. Big deal. A protocol doesn't end the turn. We need Talkbite to take less shots. We're out of healing, unfortunately. And this softens up. The face is one. This kills the face as one. Another death from above. You see that? All right. We are on a roll. Good chance that this here is going to crit. Five hit points. This guy is still a problem. Can't jump in here, but we could climb up and jump down. Or just 
Let's go further back. Pretty much cornered. How many is that now? Another nice death from above. Trying my dearest to just play this here. Holy crap. Could move to here, interrupt the tower. Or Roby takes the front line. Could we reach this? Yeah, we can reach the back. Can't fully move out of the way. Roby could like move to here. Well, alternatively here, it's half cover. Not good. Killing this guy is a high priority. Fortunately, not a, no more axes. Can't stay in here because the loss will just tear us apart. This here is barely out of reach, so I think as much as this is not a perfect position, it really only means half cover against the the perch veterans' attacks, and that heavy is finally history. We're moving further back with Hogbite, trying to kite them, reloading with Euler. Down to two troopers. Down to two troopers. And quite a few losses. I think I can kill most of the lost. The others might be a bit of a problem. ground I need a high ground with a lot of targets I know there is another one over there Good. Euler begins to use and a abuse his death from above. Right. 
Moving up. Loss takes some damage. Euler finishes the job. Death from above. Best ability in this case. Boy, is that a good ability. Full cover. Alright, let's kill these guys first. I got it, right? What's over there? Moving into cover. Harry. Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay. Good, well, whew, that at least solves uh, some of the problems. Reload Overwatch. Let's make it more difficult to hit Slicinator in case the tower uh, goes for him. I can't see anything on the way, so theoretically that should not have been a hit. All right. Um, Euler begins to charge forward. I still have that frag grenade, which could insta kill the tower. This tower is at a weird spot. It has angles on us, but somehow we can't really see or trigger it.
All right, tower destroyed. And once again, Hogbite is being beaten down. The amount of times he had been almost killed. Just... Seems unbelievable. Specifically, we have sustenance, right? For a reason. But that guy, that little prick... Just decided to not give a damn about it. Go, go, go. Good to go. And he just ran up and essentially exploded right in, in our face. And apparently, thanks to the coding of the mods again, now even sustenance, it doesn't make you immune. Like, we were in sustenance when that guy exploded, and he still got us. Think about that. I, that that's really the downside of some of the mods that is, it's a bit annoying, I must say. We do have situations like the elders who are heavily working with, um, with poison, and then I'm trying to just bring med kits, right, uh, in anticipation of essentially making us immune against poison no impact whatsoever yeah we don't need more hostile reinforcements what a mission this is that that was a hard fought victory And no wonder everybody is just a sergeant, because after every mission it's like 40 days of recovery. The gravest of wounds, mortally wounded, like Hogbite has two artificial hips, two kneecaps, uh, two just cyber arms at that point, and he's just continuing to be shot down. 15 shrap uh, shrapnels are still sticking in his back. His left side is uh, mutilated, he has scars, and uh, one of his eyes, uh, eyes is no longer working correct, but he's still going. Like, that's the level of abuse we're taking in this campaign. Okay, but there is no room for complaining there is only playing and playing better what can we learn from it well i learned a lot about the enemies to be honest i learned that the bio squad uh, stinks uh, they are nasty really really nasty oh gravely wounded 12 days well that is a new one so we got ourselves deflect, which is fantastic. I like it. And we need more... More energy. More energy, please. All right, Euler. Heavy ordinance. Yes, please. And we're going to give him holo targeting as well, just because it is so good. Slicinator starts getting there. Nice little autoloader. Good. In this campaign, Euler with his just absolute monster of a death row oh kill zone yep Mwah. this guy keeps on rolling the right abilities 
uh, we're going with uh, mm, that for now. And I am thinking about Blast Petting, kind of saying he's going to be our main Grenadier, or one of the main Grenadiers. Maybe we're actually needing two. But all the targeting is good, Death from Above is fantastic. Kill Zone, a bit too pricey for now. We need, we need the ability points for a couple of other things. Such as more death from above. Well, lots of you guys could almost buy an ability. But almost is not quite there. We wanted to wait here. Death from above is really good. You know what, Russ? I'll sponsor you that one point because Death, uh, Death from Above is just so good. All right, we'll keep the points for now. And, uh, yeah, I was wondering what's the next move. Well, I can tell you what the next move is since we got ourselves a supply raid. That is going to be the next move. Bandits and Dark Elders are raiding that together with us. No rest for the wicked. Let's just have a short look. Boy. Well, Endorus is still there. Let's maybe start down here. Inappropriate M Murphy would work together with Barbie, but that's a no no at the moment. But the point is, we just don't have the luxury to select to be honest we even healed an entire team holy shit we can just barely field an entire team like that's how bad it is Got this new guy here, that's the one that we saved from one of our missions, Tarik. He hasn't seen action so far. Tarik Bubble Ray, a new, a new character to the pool. But yeah, well, I suppose that's going to be our team. I will figure out the right uh, loadout for them and what we're going to do. But this is... That's going to suck, guys. I will need to think about how we're going to beat that uh, mission. We might, we might have just lost the next area in North America. Because if we are losing the supply rate or letting it pass, then the area is gone. So it always was a double-edged sword. We knew that from the get-go. Anyways, thanks for watching. If uh, you like the Bio Division, feel free to click that Bio Division like button on the video and leave a comment down below. See you in two days. Bye-bye.